So you already know this, but just to be clear, every agency has three main roles, sales, service, and administration. We've all got to have people doing all of those three things. Now look, you're a successful insurance agency entrepreneur, and I don't need to explain that to you, but I would like to talk about it in terms of a couple of things where I see people kind of getting off track with where they want to go based on the people that they're hiring. You know, the first place is really with sales. Um, the, the error that I see some agency owners making is they quickly pivot to being sales manager from being great sales people themselves. The truth is that as a commercial insurance agent, if you're great at sales, you can handle a $500 to $1 million dollar uh, revenue book of business if you've got the right staff backing you up. And if you're in personal insurance, just cut that number in half and it's very, very doable. So agency owners need to stay in the sales role all of their career if that's where their gift is, instead of getting people up in the morning and putting them to bed at night. So, uh, first thing in sales, try to find your way clear to backfill your agency on administration and customer service so that you can stay focused on selling. With respect to administration, somewhere around a million dollars of revenue, maybe a million and a half dollars of revenue, it's important for the agency owner who wants to continue to power growth in the agency to hire an agency manager or at least turn over the agency management role as much as possible to somebody else. I remember the day that my partner and I decided to do that. You know, we went from having a line at the door of the office with people with questions that really we weren't great at answering in the first place to no line at the door and our email went down and the phone quit ringing with inner company questions and we got back to growing the agency through sales. We way more than paid for that administrative person. So the point I just want to make about administration is you got to have it. The earlier you can dedicate somebody else to the management function of your agency, the faster you're going to get back to agency growth. And by the way, if you're a great salesperson, Building that sales culture becomes so much easier if you don't abandon the role. So, last point is about the service function. And increasingly, that's going away. Why? Because technology is making it increasingly possible for customers, clients to service themselves. Much of the work that we're doing can now be done with self-service if you'll just use the tools in your agency management system. You can put them right on your website and eliminate a ton of work. The other thing you can do is transfer the easy, low-hanging stuff to a service center. You'll do that cheaper because service centers cost half of what a human being does. Customers will also be happier because they get it when they want it. Now, the people that remain need to be increasingly salespeople. So use those things like Caliper or Culture Index or whatever it is that you use to hire service people who are not afraid to ask for the order. The average insurance agency in America sells about one and a half, a little more than that perhaps, policies per client when that client's buying seven, eight, or ten more. Why is it that we are not better account rounded? It's simple. It's because we have customer service people who are not organized. They're not the kind of people who like to ask for the order and we're not rewarding them for that. So if you want to double the size of the revenue of your agency, start changing the nature of the customer service people that you hire. And think about to the, back to the sales function. If you've got salespeople, rewarding them at a higher commission level when they sell two policies. Perhaps maybe you change your renewal commission rate. Experiment with this and I guarantee you that your revenue will go up without having to increase the number of clients. Lots of ways to improve the operations of your agency through a focus on the three functions that every agency has to provide. One last thought about that is make liberal and rigorous use of KPIs. When I look at agencies, either because they are uh, trying to sell their business or because they've asked me to say, how can we improve our bottom line, I find lots of waste because their customer service people aren't servicing as many dollars of commission as the best agencies, or perhaps their salespeople aren't selling into a big enough book of business. 
So KPIs help you to identify the opportunities in your agency where you can improve. It may be very possible to double your bottom line with no more clients and no more revenue just by looking harder at those places where you can improve using key performance indicators. If you'd like to have a conversation with me about this, I'm available, but I've also got a lot of resources right here on the website, beginning with The Uncaptive Agent, uh, which is a book written for new agency owners, but chock full of great operating advice, including ways to minimize expense and maximize the potential of your staff. Thank you.